Doubt and insecurity oftentimes interfere with the experience of being a 13-year-old. But pint-sized prodigy Grace Vanderwall proves that she's wise beyond her years. Here's how our rising star is coming into her own, one ukulele stroke at a time. The positive change in the industry that I've seen in the past year is really just like the industry is much more open to people being themselves now and just like kind of much more open to diversity and being different. It's not really so much anymore like the generic pop star. It's kind of like anyone can be what they want, which is like a beautiful, beautiful message. I love that. I remember especially me like starting up on a show of like pop stars and making pop stars. It was, America's Got Talent was very much like that big transformation and that big like, she's a pop star now. And it was, it was really hard to say, no, I'm gonna be me throughout this process. And I, but I think that it's probably a lot easier to do that now than it was in the past. And I definitely think that's because times are changing and people are starting to realize that it's okay to be different and it's, you can be, big and you can make it without kind of almost completely changing yourself. Joined on stage by our rising star, Grace Vanderwall. Hi. How are you feeling today? I'm feeling fantastic. Thank you for asking. You've had such an incredible year. So much has happened. What's been the craziest part of your journey so far? Um, I honestly can't even think of one thing. Like this entire journey, I mean, this past year, so much has happened and it's been like such a blur. I, it's, I can't even, you know, comprehend yeah. what's happening. What, how about like your most awestruck moment? Was there one moment that stands out where you're kind of standing there? Tour. Tour has been so, so amazing and fun. And when I was on tour, it was like all my fans and all the people. It's so much fun. So good, girl. You know, a year ago, you won America's Got Talent at just 12. Now you're 13. Tonight, there's another a reality singing show contestant winner, Kelly Clarkson. Kelly Clarkson's right, here. Right, yeah. is, have you met her before? I have met Kelly ah. Clarkson before, and she is the most, like, she's the nicest, most, like, genuine person. She really doesn't seem fake at all, and I'm happy to see her again tonight. Nice. I think we can really, like, relate. Sorry, not to interrupt. No, <laughs> no you're the one that's supposed to be talking, girl. Um, you have the ultimate girl squad with Millie Bobby Brown and Maddie Ziegler. I want to know, what do you guys do in your downtime to have fun? Well, I think, number one, it's just nice to have, like, those, those like, young girls in the business because, I mean, there's, like, a special bond like that that, like, really no one else can really connect over. Um, and I think, number one, like, that's the main thing. I feel like that bond, we really don't see each other that much because... Millie and Maddie are out doing their thing. I'm out doing my thing. We're all over the map. But I think it's still like kind of like that special bond yeah. of like the no one understands this kind of thing um, that we can relate over. How do you keep each other uplifted in this crazy industry? <sighs> I don't know. I mean, just I think the main thing is just to try your best to stay positive. It, it is so, it's too easy to let yourself flip what's happened and start thinking about the negative. Like, I wish I had friends. I wish I could go to school. And it's so easy to forget the blessings that you have with this. Um, and I think the main thing is just surround yourself that reminds you of those blessings. Well, you're performing here tonight. How does it feel to be, you're gonna be in a room full of these fierce, strong, independent women. I know. How does that feel? No pressure, you're I all good. I think I'm gonna throw up on stage, uh, low key. I was doing sound check and like you know how all the chairs have like the thing of like the photo of the person that's sitting there. So I was doing my sound check and I saw like Ed Sheeran is sitting like right in front of me and I'm like, I'm gonna forget all my words. I'm gonna cause I'm gonna see him. Have you met him before? Obviously not. No, He's never. like way up there. Well, and girl, I'm like way down here. Girlfriend, you gotta get a selfie with him tonight. That is your homework, okay? I feel like that's like, I don't want him to think of me. Like, I don't want him to think I'm like Fair. a fan like, oh hi, it's nice to meet you. Can we take a photo? Yeah. You know what I mean? There's like a way you have to go about it. Like I really respect your music. Let's if it comes up naturally, I will absolutely <laughs> take that chance. Yeah. Awesome. Well, Grace, thank you so much thank for hanging so out much. with us. Have fun tonight. Have a wonderful time tonight. Good luck. We'll be watching your performance. Thank you. <laughs> and <laughs> we're going to bring in Sierra, Sierra, the host of the night, who's standing right behind you. you. By the way, you're so amazing. Uh, so you look this like the actual. Exactly. I love this. Right now, like, the best I feel moments, this female environment. Her voice, bananas. Right. Yes. Bananas. <laughs> I love you. Oh, my God.
Yeah, keep Bye. on rocking, Mama. Sierra <laughs> is here, everybody. Yeah.